Hello everyone, welcome to RN Tutorials on Engineering Mechanics and in this video lecture I am going to discuss about the uh, problems related to the equations of rectilinear motion or linear motion. <coughs> Next I would like to take one example problem here. Here one problem is given as a body starts moving with a velocity of 3 meters per second and it moves in a straight line motion with uniform acceleration after 5 seconds of time it has gained the velocity of 5.5 meter per second and we need to find the uniform acceleration and the distance traveled in 10 seconds okay this is the data is given and for a particular body the initial velocity is given as 3 meter per second and after 5 seconds of duration with uh, increased constant acceleration it has gained the velocity of 5.5 seconds so in this condition we need to find out at the velocity of 5.5 what is the uniform acceleration it is having and at the same time after 10 seconds of the duration again how much the distance it has been covered that we need to find out here so first uh, we try to write the given data the initial velocity we can assume as u that u is given as 3 meter per second and next the time i am assuming as t1 and that initial t1 that is the time in 5 seconds it is given as 5 seconds so in that 5 seconds how much the velocity it has gained that is 5.5 meter per second and here why i have assumed this is as t1 means uh, in the uh, question uh, another time it is given that is uh, 10 seconds so in that duration also we need to find the distance traveled by the body so for that purpose i have taken the first time as t1 okay so let it be now with this uh, data initially we need to find out what is the constant that is the uniform acceleration it is going to have so a can be determined from the equations of the rectilinear motion or linear motion so what is the first equation the first equation we got it as v is equal to u plus 80 so in this equation we can write it as u plus 81 because the time we have assumed as t1 so we can write the equation as final velocity v is equal to u plus 81 which is the first equation in the uh, straight line motion of the bodies here so the v value is given as in the problem 5.5 meter per second so write it as 5.5 is equal to what is the u initial velocity is given as 3 so write it as 3 plus and acceleration we need to find into t1 is given as 5 seconds so a into 5 we can write finally write a into 5 is equal to a into 5 is equal to can be written as this 5.5 minus when 3 goes to the left hand side it becomes a negative so minus 3 we can write then a into 5 or directly a is equal to we can write it as 5.5 minus 3 it means 2.5 divided by 5 so when you divide the 2.5 uh, by 5 then the value will be obtained as 0.5 meter per second square okay so uniform acceleration we got the value as 0.5 meter per second square so the first one we have identified that is the uniform acceleration a we have identified next we need to go for finding the distance traveled in 10 seconds so again we need to use the next uh, uh, standard equation for the rectilinear motion so that is uh, to find the distance oh, uh, so that third equation we know it as sorry so before that what is the time it is given we try to write that t2 is given as 10 seconds so in that 10 seconds of the duration we need to find what is the distance traveled by that body so s uh, that is distance traveled by the body in a time of t which is having initial velocity u so that equation can be written as ut plus uh, 1 by 2 at square or at square by 2 so this is the standard equation from which we can find the distance traveled in a particular duration of time by knowing the acceleration as well as by knowing the initial velocity of any particle okay so this can be equal to u what do you mean by u initial velocity with which it has started that is 3 we can write so 3 into and what is the time in what time we need to find the distance traveled that is in 10 seconds of time so into 10 plus acceleration a means acceleration what was the acceleration we got 0.5 so write it as 0.5 into t what is the t 10 so 10 square divided by 2 so modify the equation so 3 into 10 becomes 30 
plus uh, 0.5 into 10 square means 100 it becomes 50 divided by 2 so finally we can write it as 30 plus 25 so 30 plus 25 means it it gives you that sorry 55 so which is the answer that is the distance traveled by the body in a time of 10 seconds that is the distance which is obtained as 55 meters per second so according to the problem here acceleration we have determined and the distance traveled in the time of 10 seconds is also determined so now this is the example one simple example one uh, we can uh, understand how to use the uh, standard equations for the rectilinear motion so next we go for another example so this is the second example i would like to discuss here and here the problem is given as the two cars start off to a race with velocities u and v so the cars has started with initial velocities of u and v assume car 1 has started with velocity u and car 2 has started with velocity v and they travel in a straight line with the uniform accelerations of alpha and beta so the acceleration is constant and for two different cars two accelerations are given okay next if the race ends in a dead beat so here it is particularly mentioned as the race is dead beat that means the distance traveled by the two cars is equal so when this thing happens we need to prove that the length of the race that is the distance traveled by the two cars as 2 into u minus v into u beta minus v alpha divided by beta minus alpha whole square so how this relation can be obtained that should be equal to again the distance traveled by the two cars that distance is same with initial velocities u and v and the acceleration alpha and beta so this equation we need to prove from the uh, equations that we already have those are the standard equations for linear motion so initially uh, for car one i would like to assume the initial velocity assume as it is uh, that is given in the problem and next the acceleration that is also given in the problem as alpha and the final velocity i would like to assume as u2 okay and the next step the distance traveled by the car one is s1 i am assuming okay i am assuming it is as the distance s1 and now uh, from the standard equation this is v square minus u square is equal to as okay this is the second standard equation we have already derived in the previous video so that from this equation v, v minus sorry v square minus u square is equal to a s uh, what we can write in this equation again uh, in place of v we can write u2 that is the final velocity minus u is the initial velocity which is as it is u write down u square is equal to minus sorry is equal to 2 alpha s1 so 2 into this alpha into s1 okay so in place of u2 again we can modify the equation so how can you modify means we have uh, the first standard formula for the rectilinear or linear motion which is uh, v is equal to u plus at so in place of u2 so u2 is equal to u plus alpha t we can write okay so try to write in place of u2 u plus alpha t square minus as it is u square is equal to we can write 2 alpha s1 2 into alpha into s1 next so try to expand this a plus b whole square form that can be written as u square plus alpha square t square plus 2 u alpha t minus u square is equal to as it is 2 alpha s1 we can write <coughs> so when you observe this expanded equation this positive u square and this negative u square will be getting cancelled and remaining alpha square t square plus 2u alpha t is equal to 2 alpha s1 we can write so again when you observe this equation on both sides uh, alpha can be taken common so when you take one alpha as common on left side and the right side alpha will be getting cancelled with this and uh, the remaining equation will be obtained as alpha t square plus 2ut is equal to 2s1 okay so assume this equation as 1 and keep aside this equation and this s1 is equal to again what we can write s1 is equal to we can write as alpha t square plus 2 ut divided by 2 okay so this is the s similarly for car 2 also the same process we can follow so in the same way for car 2 the distance traveled can be written as beta t square plus 2 vt divided by 2 okay and from the problem here 
the race is dead beat so ends with uh, dead beat means the distance should be equal so the s1 will be equal to s2 okay so try to make these two equations equal so in this two twos so uh, these two and these two will be getting cancelled and the remaining equation we can write alpha t square plus sorry alpha t square sorry sorry so, so the remaining equation i am writing here by taking alpha t square and beta t square on one side so this alpha t square and when this beta t square comes to the left side it becomes negative then minus beta t square can be written that is equal to again 2 vt as it is right down on the right side and this t u t comes to the right hand side then it becomes negative then 2 vt minus 2 ut we can write so again when you observe these two equations the t we can take uh, here t square common here t common so take t square uh, as common on left side then write the equation alpha minus beta is equal to again we can take 2t as common then take 2t as common then write it as v minus u then 1t will be getting cancelled from the two t's here that can be again written as <coughs> finally t is equal to can be written as 2 into v minus u divided by alpha minus beta okay this is the t equation we got and keep this equation aside okay sorry this uh, box for highlighting the final equation so let it be and this t is equal to we got it as 2 into v minus u divided by alpha minus beta okay now so now we have to substitute this t equation in one whatever the first equation we got that is alpha t square plus 2ut is equal to 2s1 in that equation we need to substitute this t equation which is 2 into v minus u divided by alpha minus beta so now try to substitute in this equation one so that can be written as alpha into 2 into v minus u by alpha minus beta square plus 2u into in place of t 2 into v minus u divided by alpha minus beta is equal to 2s1 so when you expand this equation okay so square the terms and expand everything so when you expand this equation finally s can be obtained as this equation the required equation that is 2 into v minus u into u beta minus v alpha divided by beta minus alpha square okay so this expansion try to do at your own if you still have any doubts uh, uh, give a comment to my video i will uh, clarify your doubt simply you can get i can i think you can get easily here so this is the procedure we can follow uh, for getting that required relation that is the distance traveled by the two cars as this relation with the help of the conditions given in the problem so i hope you understood and once again if you have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts once again thanks for watching my video thank you all